Hey guys, take a minute with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to update the software of your Apple Watch two different ways. And I'll show give you guys some troubleshooting tips if you're having issues updating your Apple Watch. So let's get started. Here I have Apple Watch. And first thing you need to know is if your Apple Watch is compatible with the Apple Watch OS software itself. So currently at the time of recording, Apple Watch OS 9 is the latest version and to check that you can google it but basically what you'll do is check out the latest version so latest apple watch os compatibility so we need to check that right to make sure we can get the compatible version for us so as you can see here apple watch 9 is out right now and it tells you what you need basically you need for this latest update you need to make sure your apple watch is series 4 or later or if you have a sc it has to be first generation or later or the apple watch ultra and then you also need in order to update it you need an iphone 8 or later with ios 16 or iphone sc second generation or later with ios 16 so those are some compatibility check it's important to make sure that of course your phone apple watch can get the update so the first method you'll do if you know that yours is uh, can get it is go to your apple watch once you go into it you click on this button here or button to get to these apps basically look for the settings app and once you look for the settings app what will happen here you'll see your name and a couple of things we'll go to general here and then you'll see this option for software update we'll click on that and as you can see here it has automatic updates and checking for updates so you can wait and see there's an update happening which is apple watch here os 9.3 it's downloading it looks like so it's happening right now so for it to happen you also have to make sure that your apple watch is connected on charger and on Wi-Fi at least uh, on the charge it has to be 50% or more so you'll see the update here if you don't have automatic you can click on download but if it's update out there it will start looking for that update itself so it'll happen just like that so if you were to let's say have this off you didn't have automatic update on you'll have to kind of download it uh, by turning it on as well to make sure that you get the latest update here so that's method one is by going through the settings app and gen general on the software update now the other method you can do is actually if you have it paired up with your iphone you can actually open up the, uh, the app apple watch uh the app itself which is a default app when you connect it and then you go to general here and then here you'll see there's option for software update as well. You click on software update as you can see here this phone right now it's being updated and as you can see there's a new version out we have automatic updates turned on as well and we're going to be waiting for it to download once it completes the download this will have the option right now it's grayed out but it will have the option but in order to update the Apple Watch again remember you have to make sure it's on charge and connect it to Wi-Fi and the charge has to be at least 50% or more for to the update so you'll see the update can happen once you connect to it and that's generally how you update the software now if you're having issues and you're not getting this update one thing to do is turn off your Apple watch just like this so we're gonna go ahead and turn off our Apple watch so all I do is simply hold this button right here as you can see here there's a button just right there and then it will say slide to power off and also the other thing you want to do is do a quick uh, force restart of your Apple uh, watch. To do that, you're going to press the volume up and then volume down and then hold the side button just like that. I'm not going to slide to power it off. I just quickly press the volume up and then press the volume down really quick and then holding the side button just like that. As you can see, it's shut down. It's going to go completely black. We're still going to hold that and then wait for the Apple logo and then let go of that button and that's doing a force restart usually solves any sort of a minor software issue that you may be experiencing with your iPhone or Apple Watch and then in the meantime we're going to go ahead and press this button again to turn on the Apple Watch you see the Apple Watch logo come up and this time once both of them are on here I'm going to make sure I'm going to enter my password here once both of them are on basically you're going to try to do the same thing again check on the phone and also check on the apple watch uh, app as well see if there's a update available and you, you, again same thing happens you're just going to go open it up go to general and then software update see as you can see it's checking for update and it will look for update basically when we have it connected and then update it for us so kind of way to do as you can see it's unable to check you can try again again 
because the Apple Watch hasn't turned on yet, we're getting this. So as you can see here, you have to give it a moment. But it's important that you connect it to good Wi-Fi. Cellular data sometimes doesn't really work as great. So I recommend going in to Wi-Fi and make sure both of your devices are charged if you're doing it through Apple Watch. Again, charge is a really important thing when it comes to updating because you don't want the device to die during the update, which will suck. See, as you can see here, now it comes up. And as you can see, it's already downloaded and ready to go for us. And if you're ready to install the download, you can do it from here. You can click on it and it asks you for the password of your phone. Put the password and hit agree. And we're going to see it starts the update happening. So that's how you do it. Hopefully this quick little video is helpful. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.